If you thought last weekend's action in Athens was something in the girls regional tournament, you must see what it looked like tonight in Athens for yet another doubleheader. This time, not one, not two, not three, but all four East Texas teams ranked in the top 25 of Texas high school hoops looking to punch their tickets to the regional tournament, but only half will make it. So we'll begin with the first game in tonight's doubleheader visiting team. The 23rd ranked Grapeland Sandys. Hey, they're going to take on the second ranked La Pointer Flyers and baby. The action began almost immediately. Three on one, you do the math. Hayton Ray gets the feed and the bucket to zip. Then off of a miss. Nice two man touch to Cooper Gracely with the feed inside. Tie game. Then it's Ricky Gilmore. Puts up a shot, misses. But Johnny Lamb comes out of nowhere for the putback. Sandy's up two, but here come the Flyers. Loose ball. Matthew Driscoll fights for it, drives and gets the bounce. But Driscoll wasn't done. Here he is on the rebound. His defender flops and he takes advantage. Then says he's too little. But but then guess who? Driscoll again. Feed inside to Dewan Whitehead, and the big man gets the bucket. But Grape Lewin go down without a fight. Gilmore from mid range, and that's cash money, baby. But the bank was open on the other end, too. Evan Almeida with the lay in. Three point lead, which would grow. LaPointer, high post flash, and it's Cooper Grace with the pull up. But watch this, Omari and Wally behind the back, and ooh, ankles checking his defender and pulls up for the nasty bucket. But the Sandys weren't done there. Lamb on the drive from the wing, sends up a floater on the buzzer. The crowd goes wild. Flyers up 15 after one. And although Grapeland kept cutting that lead, LaPointer holds off and is headed to the regional tournament. Here's head coach Jim Reed on such an intense game. This is the third year in a row we matched up with them in the playoffs. So uh, two years ago, they got us in the regional finals. And then last year and this year, we got them in the third round. So we knew it was kind of a mini rivalry. We knew that it was going to be intense. Grapeland uh, is an excellent ball club. Uh, you know, their two players, Wiley and, and Lamb, are just unbelievable. The other guys stepped up as well. Uh, but, yeah, the intensity that, that this game brings, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. But, you know, it, it just they never quit and credit to them, you know, so it, it was just a good ball game all the way around.